Hi, Leo. Welcome to a mid-August 2024 tarot update. It's Serena here. Wow. There's your cards. That's a, that's connected to Leo. The six of uh let's see if you can see it, the six of wands. The heart of the matter is the judgment card. This can be a legal judgment that you are in the process of dealing with or that's going to be dealt with judgment card is also a card of rebirth so feeling the sense of renewal in life feeling like you're reinventing yourself or something along those lines um for a fire sign like leo this is something that can feel really invigorating i would say because um the fire signs are very connected with the self and the individual characteristics that we possess because i'm a sag so i get it and and yeah in some cases the judgment card can even be like what was i thinking you know <laughs> uh questioning our own judgment about something that we have done that has kind of come back if this is this is about cause and effect so in the past position we have the eight of pentacles um this this is about being like an apprentice training for something this can have great money implications so if there's some kind of um money uh, you know, the, the 8 eight portal, one of the great things about that uh, Lionsgate was because it was, we're in a, an eight universal year. Oh, you get eight of cups too. <laughs> and that's really about material wealth. So there may be some kind of a legal judgment about that, even though the eight of pentacles, I could see something with eighth house matters that has to do with like uh, a will or something where other people's money is also involved in this and somehow it's being litigated or if you're getting a divorce. So if you're awaiting a divorce and actually that may be uh, relevant for some Leo people because you're going to have a full moon in Aquarius that's going to fall in the seventh house. And it is right around the midpoint. It's on the 19th of August. So it might be something along those lines. Looking at it from a higher perspective, because some of this can be a little bit, I mean, even if like you're reinventing yourself, you might be starting life as somebody who is um, un uncoupled, unattached, and you're having to readjust in a sense. The higher message is about leaving behind what no longer serves you. This the cups relate to the water element and i and it's funny because i associate the eight of cups with scorpio and it really is about like are you living a life that really feels aligned with you emotionally and i feel like a lot of leo people if they're not doing so if for some reason, if for some reason you're going through the motions with, in your job um, or in your um, relationship that you're going to feel very trapped and stagnant and that this is something that can uplift you um, by, by having, and sometimes you need this kind of outer um, situation to force the change, if you will.
what crosses you is the seven of cups you may be like in a place where there's a lot of options but almost like too many options like what do you decide to do and you may be feeling like confused as to what to do for some reason that something is tempting to choose like you know there's a a heart in this but there's also like a snake there's also there's a rose but there but there's a cyclone uh, <laughs> such a weird this is very much like the rider weight deck uh this whole deck um but sometimes this is wishful thinking you you want something to be other than what it is and like um if, for instance, let's say you're getting divorced, but you weren't the one who initiated the divorce, um, you have this wonderful opportunity to go on this spiritual adventure. And it doesn't have to be like religious, but just kind of like an adventure of awakening. And yet you may be still in love with a person for whom you're no longer compatible, for whom you're not really helping each other to grow. And so that's what I mean by wishful thinking, that you're still thinking that it can work when it really can't. And that's a process, but, but it could be also impacting your judgment because you, you may not realize that everything is happening as it is intended to. What's coming in is the Ten of Wands. This is a card of um, maybe overwork. Uh, in one of my books, it's called The Burdens of Success. So you might be really striving quite a bit, but you have to be careful that you're not pushing yourself too hard. Um, be careful about a relationship where you are um, doing all of the heavy lifting in the relationship because uh, I, I do think though that this might be more in alignment with your career because the outcome is the six of wands and this is taking your bow. This is connected to Leo and to success and getting that recognition success wise, which you rightfully deserve. This may be some kind of wonderful um, career um, accolades that you get. This is a card of victory. So even if you have to work quite a bit to get there, and this also, it's funny that that's on top of it, because this can also be um, putting in the, the, the work to get to where you are. You can get there. All right, Leo. Sounds great. I hope that you enjoyed this. If you'd like a personal reading, the link is below. Take care. Bye.